since we're almost ready to be uh, to move on to Gato Roboto. Before we uh, go in there, I quickly want to mention we have some donation incentives going for you guys. Uh, we still have a few incentives open. First, uh, Coming up first will be the Pokemon Gold Incentives, the rival name, which is currently sitting at Butts with 5 euros, the Totodile name at My Dude at 8 euros, and the Trainer name can still be sniped with any amount as there is no name uh, chosen just yet. There's also the Add Boss Percent. It's an entire additional category for the Digimon Racing uh, run later on. It's currently sitting at 43 euros and five cents out of 100, so we're, we're almost halfway there. And then for the final run of today, we have a, uh, in a hasn't time the Help or Don't Help Mustache Kid incentive. So uh, if you want to get something in that, be sure to get that in. And I. I'm getting the heads up that we're just about ready to go. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. Yes. Hey, everyone. Um, I'm Jelly Dots, and today I'll be running a game called Gato Roboto. I'll be doing any percent, but I will mention that the category has been evolving over the past few weeks. So, I'll be doing any percent as it is right now. But. Just keep in mind that there will be some strats that may save a lot of time, and I've heard that they may actually cost us a lot of time. So I hope that'll balance itself out, and I think it's just best to just get into the game. So three, two, one, go. So we're uh, crashing into, a, uh, into this planet, or station actually. And you may recognize um, some of this game design. You know, we're going le uh, left here at the start. And we are a cat, by the way, a cute cat. Um, we just landed, crash landed. And that may be similar to a game that you guys may know called Super Metroid. This is an indie game that's very much inspired by Super Metroid. But it definitely has its own feel, most notably. It has a cat. And it has a cat in a suit. Yay, we cats! Exactly. What's not to like about this game? So while I go on, I'm just going to explain some things um, at the start. Let's just explain some general, generic things. If you look at, um, at the right side of the game, you'll see a cat uh, pictogram. If I shoot, he becomes angry. So there's a lot of really fun detail in this game. And that's um, a heal pit, um, what do you call that in Metroid? A health pack? <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna get, uh, collect one health pack and we're just gonna hope the run goes fine with just that. There's actually quite a few more hidden throughout the game. Oh, I shouldn't have shot that one. But in general, oh, we're actually gonna do a safe to save here. In general, it's just, it starts off like Metroid, but pretty linear. And later, we're just going to see how this really becomes a speedrun. There's some glitches in this game that just are wonderful to see. <laughs> so, eh, I will mention um, the suit can't enter the water and also can't enter those corridors. Just keep that in mind as you see the run. Like, you're going to see how we speedrunners evolve this run quite far. Outside of the uh, bot you play as a cat, he can wall jump. And he also moves slightly faster when he's jumping. So that's why I'm jumping, hopping this entire section. You're supposed to go right here, and the save point will collect your mech again. But someone in the community figured out that it's actually much faster to just swim back as a cat. So yeah, this is actually faster than getting to the mech there and destroying the rocks. And if you notice, we went there for a specific item. Rockets! Now, I said I was going to do new 20%. And that involves first try. That involves this glitch, and this is a boss. So yeah, we just skipped the boss fight. And what's happening is, right now, I'm in the mech suit, but I have the cat's hitbox. 
So that puts the mech suit under the floor for... Oh! For a small pixel. And that actually allows us to skip certain sections in the game, which is... Oh! Whoops! There we go. It allows us to skip certain pixels, uh, certain rooms in the game, and that just will save a lot of time. We can just gonna damage boost through some of this because I know exactly where the safe files are, uh, safe points are. We're just gonna hop hop around here. Yeah, we're just uh, moving on to what's called the Nexus. Now, this is a Metroidvania. And that means there's some backtracking generally or just some sections you can't explore. But in our case, we're just going to go um, straight to the first area, which is called the Aqueducts. And that's to the left. And the general idea in the game is to basically defeat free areas and then you can actually move on to the final section. So we're just going to do that. And like I said, the first one is the aqueducts, which I just call the water area. Here's a cool moment where I can read chat. Cats don't like water, though. This is true. Very good statement. And this cat doesn't like it either, actually. He, gets act he actually gets upset in the cutscenes about bass. So yeah, like I said, the bot can't enter the water. But well, that's just what we did, and as you can see, it saves us quite a bit of, uh, quite some backtracking. We're still gonna have to backtrack eventually, but we're just now gonna run straight to the ending of the section, actually. Ouch. Ooh, that was a nice boost. The rockets are really useful if you know how to boost well with them. You can make some <laughs> pretty high jumps with them. And you can also boost very quickly uh, downwards. So, this is a point where I can mention that as a cat, you have an insta-kill. Uh, all enemies insta-kill you. The cat has no health. So, if one of those frogs hit me, I would have had to do that whole <laughs> part again. So, in aqueducts, we want to drain the water, and we use that by these cat wheels. That's actually the last cat wheel in a casual run, but obviously in a speed run, we we just skip through the last straight to the last one. And by doing this, we also skip the boss, which is to the left here. And not only do we skip that boss, let's see. Got to do this mandatory fight. We also get to collect the spin jump. And now we basically have two of the three best items in the game. The spin jump is a bit different from most... Oh! Most um, Metroid items. But very similar. And the biggest difference is that it's more of a double jump. And the second is, it's actually a pogo. So you're gonna see me pogoing here. And with the rockets, you can basically fly through the stages now. But we still gotta do the mech dive, as the strat is called. Oh, got it. Sometimes that can go pretty wrong and it'll push you into the water. And you'll get damaged. But this is going pretty good so far. That was an odd way of moving there, but it works. So now we're gonna... Oh. Backtrack. Ooh. We're gonna backtrack um, t to what would have been the first area we should have visited in a casual playthrough. This, play this whole section is actually filled with water. And actually, where am I? Oh, never mind. But I had to small mech again. But no, and uh, here we can just move on straight to the first drain. Here he, is, here he actually explains, you know, you can walk on these wheels to drain things. Ooh. 
Whee. We're just gonna blast our way down. And I think it's this is a good point to do the glitch once more. Again, frame perfect, I believe. Might be wrong, but I believe it's frame perfect. There we go. There's a setup for it with the visual cue. Um, we used uh, missiles, the rocket, um, yeah, the rocket uh, bar to the left. That helps us really just determine, oh yeah, now we should actually get out of the suit. So now you're noticing this whole section has been waterless now. And that's because of those drains. And it just allows us to go through a completely different uh, route than you would ever see in a casual playthrough. Let's see if we can get best boost. Kinda. And like I said, the rockets and the spin jump can let you do some pretty nifty stuff. There's a boss here, but I'm just gonna skip saving. I'm not afraid of him. Because he's just so terrifying. <laughs> like I said, the small mech glitch, it's pretty impressive. When I uh, learned it, I just knew I had to run this. But here you want to actually get out of the mech. And actually activate this room. And now we have literally, now we have actually beaten the boss. If you don't do that, this boss will respawn when you come from when you come in from the left, and you're gonna have to fight him anyways. There's a lot of cool movement tech in this game that some runners do. I'm not too proficient at them myself. But I may try to explain at least how some of them work. There you go. You are slightly invisible for a, slight sec oh, for a short second. If you do the small mech glitch. Ah. So basically, since the rocket propel you in a direction, you can actually use them to propel yourself really fast using a combination of of the rockets and the spin jump. Kind of like that, where you do it in the opposite direction you're moving. Oh, don't troll me, <laughs> Dark Frog. But yeah, that was the aqueducts. Very different route from what any casual playthrough is used to. Ooh, and seeing some people I know, that's cool. <laughs> So yeah, now that we have... Let me just check. Do I have small mech? I believe I do. Yeah. And if not, well... <laughs> well, let me just check. Yeah, we have small mech. Good. I didn't forget. <laughs> I forgot once. That was terrible. We're going to move on to the heat section, the heat core. In this section, you can't exit the mech suit. So if we didn't have small mech now, we wouldn't have been able to get it. And it's very important for the speedrun to have small mech here. We're just gonna wait for this lava. See, as you can see, this whole section is filled with lava. And there's a bunch of... Um, actually, this is a massive area. I feel like it's probably larger than the whole aqueduct area. Here we skip a, a mandatory fight. <laughs> mandatory? We're going to save frequently here, and we're going to skip there just now by going in that, into that corridor, into that small hole. We just skip like 10 minutes of gameplay. <laughs> but I've heard that if we die anywhere right now in this section, we actually soft lock the game. So <laughs> let's just hope that doesn't come to be. I'm just gonna wait for this magma beam. Oh. Uh oh. There you go. Just I'm a bit tense in this direction now that I know that you can die. <laughs> but so far it's going pretty fun. Pretty good. So, this is actually supposed to be the last section of the heat area. 
this is actually what unlocks um, the next section in the game, I believe, normally. Also the boss fight. And you may have seen it right there at the bottom before I exited, but all the lava has now become just all these rock like these rocks. Here you can see it, this was used to be lava. And the reason why that's important is because it allows us to go down right here. Oh, oops. Thanks. That's a good bomb drop from that enemy. <laughs> and this allows us to go straight to the dash. And now we can dash through enemies. And with that, we have basically most of the speedrun... Well, most of the skills in the whole game, actually. And that was the heat section. Anyone who's played this game casually can now say what just happened. Because that was nothing like the way the game is actually supposed to look like if you do this casually. And we're actually... The small mech actually allows us to skip yet another section. Oh, I need to jump a bit higher here. Ooh, wrong rocket side. There we go. But... You may have noticed that we also haven't done really many boss fights in the game. At least not in the heat section and in the uh, aqueduct section. We are going to have a boss fight here. The final boss of the section actually. Oh, if we can get up here. There we go. Now, this whole section we, is actually supposed to be without a mech suit and just as a cat. So having a suit here is kind of beneficial to us because it allows us to just mash him and he's dead. That was the boss. In a cat, as a cat, you were supposed to use those cannons to the side. So that's a big pleasure for any runner. Oh, there we go. And with that, we finished the first section of the game as well. Oh, and now we're just gonna actually make our way to, well, almost make our way to the final area. Just like that, we just almost finished the game. <laughs> Kinda, quote unquote. <laughs> Famous last words. Yeah, that boss is, uh, for the one in the chat, yeah, that boss is pretty frustrating casually, even in the speedrun, actually. Unless you, of course, know the strat and you can basically kill him in a few shots. So now, like I said, the objective was to defeat, uh, to beat the free areas. You had to fix the, uh, the ventilation. You had to drain the uh, aqueducts and cool down the heat core. So Jelly, somebody in chat actually asked me, please, or to tell you, please remind him to dash Maximus. He'll know what I mean. <laughs> Ooh. Not sure if you can yes, do that in that this was, game. That was yes sir, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, where am I going? This is not route. Route. So... If you, um, there's a, some cutscene in this game that explain exactly why we go here. Long term, long story short, uh, we needed a decoder because the computer suddenly said you need a password, and our pi the pilot, uh, the pilot or our master owner, he disappeared. Hmm, quite worrisome, but we are still a happy little cat. And here we have to input the password, which is meow. Oh, don't forget to press the button. And per with this, we can finally go to the final section of the game. Perfect password. <laughs> yeah. I mean, is there any better password? I don't know any. So, this is the laboratory. The bot actually just told us to please not break things. 
So we're a cat, so we're just gonna ignore that. Oh. Don't stand in your way, box. We're gonna do plenty of saving here. Because this isn't because this is a marathon run. But oh. But casually you want to just run straight here. Now this is another mandatory room where you have to kill all enemies. It's actually quite a difficult room, as you can see. I'm not sure if if I have to reset here because it's just so hard with all these enemies. I wonder if I can hit some of these. Oh yeah, I hit one of the <laughs> one of the invisible enemies. Nurse two. But let's start this room for real now. And what you're supposed to do in that room is basically just kill all enemies. Except because of our small mech glitch, we were able to just do it without actually fighting most of them. I am gonna save, but I'm not gonna use the small mech glitch because we actually don't need it in the upcoming section. Oh, that was a bit unproductive of mine. Playing for our enemies, take, think, 10 health. This is a glitch the developer left in spe especially for us, so that we could skip this section. Really cool from the developers. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Shouldn't have jumped there. One death. <laughs> Let's see if we can do it without dying this time. Might be nice. Let's wait for that fishy to pass by us. Okay. Ooh, that was a bit <laughs> too far. There we go. One HP, easy. Here's what the scans would look like if you used them, actually. That's what you would use in the ventilation section that we largely skipped. So you did get to see the mechanic, kinda. <laughs> but in the casual playthrough, you're gonna use, m make a much heavier use of them. Now this is a, a point of no return, and the game doesn't joke around with that. That's a big tip for anyone who wants to play this. If you don't have all collectibles here, I'm sorry, now it's over. Well, actually, you can kind of still reload right now. But after this, it's over. And if you don't have everything now, you're not going to 100%. So that's a uh, light warning here. Small PSA. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny because most runners actually got like 97%. That's that was a bit bad with rocket management. Also, yes, this is an auto scroller. So I already know where pretty much all these enemies spawn. Here you kinda wanna wait for these balls to hit the wall and then shoot. You don't wanna shoot the rockets too fast because there is some enemy iframes. This thing. Ooh, one HP. Okay, made it. Wait, one HP, that was kinda tight. <laughs> Catling gun. That's a, that's a good one. 
also heard some other puns like Ar uh, Domo Arigato, Gato Roboto. This is a Meowtroid. There's a lots of fun to have with this game and words. Whoops. I'll just do this section normally, I guess. So, okay, yeah. I kind of screwed that up. I should have done the small glitch there because it kind of skips some um, rooms. Enemy rooms, at least. There you go. And we're just gonna move on. This would this would have been a fight. Oh yeah, I forgot. This is a fight. Mm. Some fights you can't skip, others you can. Wow, three rockets hitting the wall. There we go. So we're just gonna s straight up move to the ending. It's not um, real soon, but we're getting pretty close to it. You can stun lock these enemies, but the other strategy is to just stand, keep your distance, and just keep the missiles. The rockets uh, do 5 damage, versus the smaller gun which does 1 damage per shot. So it's kind of preference. And this is what we call the worst room in the game. Just because this collection of enemies is pretty intense, actually. Okay, got him. Oh, come on. Nice. This is actually a very intense moment in uh, in the game because all these runes are actually pretty challenging without practice. Oh. Especially if you're trying to save time, there's a lot of ways to lose time here. We're just gonna hope we don't. Gonna hit him with the rockets. Okay, and with that, we can now finally go to the final bosses of the game. And this is the final boss, and we're just gonna count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. If you shoot a few more than that, this boss, uh, the game will actually crash. So that's why I was specifically counting in my <laughs> out loud. I did not want to crash the game here at the ending. So yeah, this is where he trans the enemy, the evil villain, transfers his consciousness over to our owner. Oh no! And this is the final boss of the game, basically. And he's done. <laughs> but there's one more fight left in him. Because he's now a human. So it all comes down to cats versus human after all. Thanks. He's invulnerable while he spins, kind of like myself. And let's see if we can get the glitch going. Got it. Oh, no, I didn't. Ah, oh, never mind. <laughs> Guess it's over. Reset. <laughs> There's one more part. 
Now, time will be coming up pretty soon. I'll mention. <laughs> but here, the dog comes to our rescue. And since I felt the glitch at the end, this is going to be a save the animals run. There's a way to actually get the second mech here, and that would allow you to actually <laughs> to actually leave the dog behind. But since we didn't get it, this is now save the animals time. <laughs> so yeah, that was Gato Roboto. Very fun, sh uh, short little indie. I think casually it will probably take you like between three and four hours for most people. So yeah, um, is there anything else I should say? Get the game, meow, <laughs> meow. <laughs> Thank you for having me and hope to see the, f uh, the upcoming runs. So what's next? Uh, after this, we will be moving on to Yoshi's story. So uh, I guess yeah. in just a minute, we'll be uh, getting ready for that. Cute, cute block. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for <laughs> sure. Um, in the meantime, we're going to be running some ads in a moment. But before yeah. I do, I quickly want to mention that that'll be it for me. I'll be uh, giving it over to my boy Indy, who will be uh, your host for the upcoming run. So uh, yeah, enjoy. <laughs> 